Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our product builder. So we've changed this name a couple of times <laughs> to see what helps people, right? First, it was called products. Then we called it courses. And then we changed it back from courses because we realized not everyone uses this just for courses. As I said, you can use it for services and products and all, of all kinds. So then we changed it to product builder <laughs> and we've changed it a couple of times. So I just want to bear that in. But we've decided at the moment to settle with product builder because this is the place where you click to create any product that you're selling, okay? To build any product. So you're gonna click on product builder. Now inside your account, you um, may have a couple of templates in there that I have pumped into your account for you. But basically you're going to press this big blue button that says create a product. There's a couple of templates you can use here as well, but I'm gonna take you through building your own from scratch. So you're gonna click on start building and then give your product a name. Okay, I'm going to make up, I've got a, actually, I've been reading all about the blue moon today. So let's pretend my new course is going to be about astrology. Okay, so this is going to be Sarah's astrology course. Okay, we're going to press create product. And you can change this title at any point, guys. So don't worry if you're going to change the title of your course later. So here, first thing we want to do is we want to structure our course. Okay, so we're going to just structure this out. And we are going to, first of all, give it modules. Now categories mean modules. So I might, for instance, call this module one. Save. You can see there I can change this even to introduction, maybe introduction to the course. This is where I can have a little video that says, welcome to the course, tell people what to expect from my course, give them maybe the workbook inside this lesson. And then I can go in, let's pretend this has got uh, three modules. So I'm just going to do module another module, press that little add structure, module two, save. And then maybe I want to add another module. So I'm going to press the add button, create a category and call this module three, save. Boom, there is my structure of the modules for my pretend astrology course here. I might now go in and add all of my lessons. So in module one, I am going to add a lesson. And uh, so this might be called astrology basics. <laughs> okay, save. I might add module one here. What are the different planet meanings? Okay, I'm just making this up as I go along. Save. Okay, module two. Again, we're just going to press add a lesson. And uh, this one might be about your natal chart. I'm just going to make this up. Module lesson, the next lesson might be called your star sign. Here's my pretend course coming together nicely. And in module three, I'll just add another lesson like your life path and predictions. So I can go in and add as many lessons as I like. There's no limit to you on how many modules you can add or how many lessons you can add. You can go as crazy as you like with your content. <laughs> now, once you've structured your course out, and by the way, if you don't know how to structure a course and you don't know how to put the outline of a course together, I have a completely free training called How to Create Your Course Outline. Um, if you go to sarahcordoner.com, uh, sarahcordoner.com forward slash free hyphen stuff there is a bunch of free training that you can grab. And one of those free trainings is how to plan your program. So it's called plan your program and it helps you create your course outline and map out your course modules, lessons, and content. So do go and grab that sarahcorner.com forward slash free hyphen stuff. And you'll be able to learn how to put this, this course structure together. So there you go. Let's say you've done all this now. You're going to film your videos and create your content. To do that, you're going to go to your lesson. Let's pretend I filmed this particular training. All you do is now click into the lesson, and this is where you add the content of that lesson. So if I've got a video, I might come here and upload a video. I'm not going to do that now because it will be very slow <laughs> um, with, the, with me live streaming right now. 
You can also add a little thumbnail for that lesson. So when the student is basically progressing through each of your lessons, it just looks pretty as well. This thumbnail might say lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and so on right here. You can add text into your lesson. You can add links or hyperlinks here at all as well. And you can even add files. So if I wanted to have a workbook or a worksheet in this lesson, all you do is upload it here and the student will be able to download it from their lesson. So I'm going to press save and boom, that lesson is now ready. Of course, I would just now go through into each lesson and do exactly the same thing. Click on here, upload the video, add the little cover image saying lesson two, put in any notes that they might want to have. Maybe you want to paste in a transcript. I don't know, whatever you might want to use the section for. You get to be the creator of this. Add any file downloads that the student might have to download and press save and boom, you've now got all of your course content together.